Yeah, but you weren't done there. So you decided yeah. to, to engage in some other stuff. Obviously, you know, you, you were awarded the Distinguished Flying Cross with Valor for your actions in 2003 and had a full career all the way up to 06 yeah. after that. But you still weren't done giving back. So your yeah. post Air Force life involves a lot of public speaking. It involves a lot of, mm-hmm. of talking to people. Why did you decide to keep serving in the in the way that you did? You know, I think I have, you know, I've spent I spent 24 years serving and it's hard. It's hard to walk away from that. I, I enjoyed it. I loved it. I, you know, I found my passion and my purpose with supporting our troops on the ground. And when I stopped flying the A-10, it was like, OK, find your new passion and purpose. And I realized how important it was to give back. And being at the academy was like this opportunity to help the next generation of leaders and so retiring was still a hard decision for me. I mean, I tried three times and I finally, you know, did it mm. on the third time around. It, so it finally stuck. Yeah, it finally stuck. And I wanted to find a way to continue that service. And, you know, like I said, I, people shared stories with me along my career. They shared their experiences. They shared their lessons learned, even if it was like, hey, I screwed this up. They shared those things with me. And so now it's like I feel a responsibility to share what I've learned with other people. I mean, it's not all success. There's failures, there's mistakes. And so I feel a bit of a responsibility to share those things um, to help other people develop and grow. And that's part of the speaking. It's why I decided to write a book. Um, You know, it's just, I think it's important. I think you can help other people by sharing stories and sharing lessons learned. Um, So, you know, it's nice to, it's nice to be able to give back because I feel like so many people did so many things for me along the way.